99X, it's Barnes and Leslie. We are the Morning X. I've mentioned Leslie many a times that when I list out my like five best songs in my brain for like songwriting, like the construction of the song, the energy of the song, I have mentioned Third Eye Blind a million times. All the time. Semi Charm Life. We have a great history with the band. I flipping love that song and I love all of their music. And so it would be very fitting to if we could just ever get Stephen Jenkins to come on. Yeah, it would be nice. 99X is back, Third Eye Blind is back, and Stephen Jenkins is back. It's come back, and I'm telling you um, that I'm here for it. I'm really quite happy about that, and um, I'm glad that you guys are going to be part of the show um, in uh, July. Yes. That's just uh, that's great. Can't wait. That's going to be a great show. Summer Gods Tour with Yellow Card in Arizona. It's the 27th of July. 99X presents Third Eye Blind at Ameris Bank Amphitheater. But how are you, Mr. Jenkins? I'm well, although I'm under a lot of pressure because I have promised new music for this tour. And um, we've tracked everything and I haven't finished the lyrics. And I, I just feel like every couple of years I find myself in this position where everything is done and I can't finish the last few words. And if I don't finish the, if I don't have every word fully in its place, um, it's it, it, the 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 sweater unravels, and I and I can't, I, I just can't do the whole song. Just use AI. You got it. Just plug it in. Have you ever tried that? It's the <laughs> most <laughs> vile, terrible thing. I know. I'm kidding. That's a, uh, that is actually a lot of pressure. Oh, there's we're, we're past. So many deadlines, lovely. Uh oh. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I. But so now it's it's <clears throat> the tour starts um, June seventh, and um, so <clears throat> I have to have new music out um, before then. Uh, it's supposed to be a whole album. It's probably going to start with a single, and I'll be putting um, new music out on the uh, on the course of the tour. But yeah, it's a lot of pressure, and clearly. Um, I need to finish music now, like um, like term pra- papers, I guess. I don't know. Do you remember, we were going back through the history of 99X. You guys are a huge part of the DNA, and the alternative music scene is so big right now. I mean, all bands like you, they're just having moments. The music is bigger than ever. Do you remember playing our Chinese New Year concert at the Fox Theater? I remember the Fox Theater because I remember it because um, we really liked that place and we um, we shot the back of an album cover on it. And it's one of my favorite. Um, it's one of my favorite album photos ever. Which one? Um, Which one is that? Um, I think it is um, the back of. It's either We Are Drugs or Dopamine. I'm looking to I see the. the- picture what what was the picture of um i'm i'm like airborne and you can see the whole theater in it okay it's i see the one with a bunch of people women have their hands all over your face that's one i'm that comes up when i that looks like an ep nope. yeah i have to look that out the fox yeah it's great theater that's interesting 99x is, is um always supported us and it, it's something that um we actually think of when we're in atlanta that's cool thank you yeah, that's very nice. Yeah. So I saw you're selling your house. Is it weird putting your house out and putting all the pictures of of the of the insides of your house out for people to just go through? I mean, it was already sold by the time those photos came uh, out. Actually. Oh well, that's good. It was already sold. Did you upgrade or downgrade? Because I mean, that was a three million dollar crib. So did you go up or down? I made a little jump up. Oh, a little jump up, and he hadn't even finished the songs yet, and he's already spending that money. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but it's 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 um everything's in boxes, and I vowed to leave them in boxes until uh, the album and the tour are complete. So stay focused, absolutely. We're talking to Stephen Jenkins, Third Eye Blind. So I thought this was actually really cool for big fans. This uh, collector's items that are coming out for you guys for Jumper limited edition playable gold records. Can you talk a little bit about that? Because I guess there's something special about. These jumper records? Well, they're they're plated in gold. Wow! You know, if Jay Z wants to wants to play, actually, like drop a needle on on a gold record, he's going to have to listen to ours. That joke didn't land at all. 
No, it, it kind of landed a little bit. Just it a was, little. It didn't really work. <laughs> <laughs> but it was good spirited though. It was very, it was very, very that, good pitch. That joke was better as a dud than it did as an actual, you know, delivery. Interesting. All right. Well, fans, um, the the 25th anniversary of Jumper, you can get three true collector's items. They're actual real gold records this time. Yeah, gold plated. Um, so uh, yeah, they're not solid gold. But, not uh, solid. <laughs> that yeah. would be uh, a good plated. find. <laughs> I opened them up and they were really kind of amazing. Um, there's an unboxing that we did. I think it's uh, you can get it on socials. It's one of the most um, clumsy unboxings I've ever seen. We were doing CBS Morning and um, they gave it to us and they said, "Can you um, can you do uh, can you unbox these?" And you know they were falling apart and it was terrible. And they said we should do it again, but we just went with the first one. Um, yeah, they're a lovely piece of memorabilia. Stephen Jenkins, Third Eye Blind, can I ask you a hard question? Sure. Do it, Barnes. Here, no, here's something I don't understand. I'm a fan of yours. I'm a fan of your uh, band. I've just said that Semi Charm Life is one of my top five all time songs. Your name has come up negatively in more than one interview over the years, <laughs> and I don't understand it. And my question is. Were you a jerk on the road, like at some point? Because some bands, and even in print, I've seen it. And I'm being completely honest; I don't understand it. Mm. I mean, you, I don't know. That hurts. It, it what? I said I don't know. That hurts my feelings. It hurts my feelings because I'm a fan, and I just I truly don't understand why they would say stuff about the band and you specifically. And I'm just maybe curious. They're jealous of the success. I, it baffles me. I don't understand it. Yeah, I don't like the smack talk. I don't either. And I just wondered if, if there was something that you knew that had happened, or is this just people being jealous? You know, I believe in good manners. Um, I I think it's... I, I, I hate it when people are rude. Um, and uh, so I certainly try not to be rude, uh, but I think it's also important to be... Uh, genuine to I have a um, a, a sort of combined punk rock sense of telling the truth and that's um, the kind of the place that we come from that's the that's the fertile dirt that we come from um, so that could be part of it um, I don't know I don't know what that you know what the weird thing is, yeah. Stephen, is when people have said that, I challenge them on why, and they never say. And so I find that interesting, but I couldn't not ask you about it because it's been on our show at least two times where we've asked some question about just touring and bands, and that comes up, and I say, why? Because I don't see it. I've never seen it in your social media. I haven't seen it. Uh, you know, You've never had a cross situation with us or the radio station. So I just didn't, I truly didn't understand it. I, you know, okay. It could be <clears throat> that on tour in the first two years, we really, really had to work a lot. And it could have been that um, I was just kind of sleepy at morning radio. <laughs> that could, well, I don't think it wasn't DJs. It was bands. Bands? Yeah. I'm talking about um, bands, not, not people. Oh, yeah. No. Oh, I don't know. I just wanted to ask because I'd be I'd be like yelled at if because it's come up on our show and I've actually defended you in those interviews saying huh. I don't get it. And so I wanted to ask you firsthand. I don't know. All right. Well, good. I don't know. Probably it's just when you I think when, um, it, you know, if a rumor starts, it just gets perpetuated by discussing it. So so it doesn't get lessened by discussing it here. It just gets perpetuated. Yeah, well, let's just say yeah. that we don't know the answer, and and you don't either. So maybe it was just all rumor. And here, and and the rumor continues. It yeah. shall continue that Stephen Jenkins is a very nice guy who writes great songs. Now we know you have work to do. You've got to finish these damn songs because we'll see you here yeah. July twenty seventh. Summer Gods tour. This is going to be huge. Third Eye Blind, Yellow Card, July twenty seventh here at Ameris Bank Amphitheater in Alpharetta. Um, what a pleasure talking to you guys. You're pissed at me now, aren't you? I've ruined it. No. No, I...
Barnes. You said you were a fan, Barnes. I am a fan. I still am. So am I. But I don't think Stephen likes me anymore. How did that happen? I don't think that's true. <laughs> that one landed better than the gold joke. Yeah. That was my fault. I didn't lob well. I no. love gold joke. So you, I don't know what happened to the gold joke. All right. You, you promise you're not mad at me? I promise. All right, because I am a huge fan. Cannot wait for the show. For the show, Summer Gods Tour, Yellow Card in Arizona with Third Eye Blind. That is Stephen Jenkins, and he's a good dude. Thank you, guys. Thanks for having Thanks, me. Thanks, Stephen.